Today I'm going to talk about the quick OBGYN. And today I'm going to talk about important topic for you SML step to CK. What's the difference between the complete and incomplete HMOL? Complete and the incomplete benign gestational tropoblastic neoplasia differences you should know very well. Okay, guys. So let's talk briefly about this. Remember, in the complete, they have the m the empty egg, no egg. Okay. Whereas in incomplete, normal egg. Okay, gestational tropoblastic. This is I'm gonna talk in detail in uh, another video okay and I'm, I'm gonna upload later so regarding this is regarding the differences between the complete and the incomplete what you call H mole heritage for mole so the empty egg in complete and incomplete there's a normal egg means there's no egg in the complete and there is an egg in the incomplete okay the paternal eggs only okay here is the paternals eggs only okay where here we have a maternal and paternal X chromosome, right? And here they have a there is a good diploidy that is a 46 X O X. Okay. And here we have a triploidy that is a 69 X X Y. Here the male has given the father has given only X of his so mother will give only X so 46 XX here he can give me XY so there will be 4069 XXY okay what will be the fetus in case of a complete remember the name is what misleading it's a complete means here the fetus is not there no fetus there's a complete destruction remember fetus is absent where you see fetus non viable, right? Here is present, but it's a non viable. It's present, but non viable, remember. And which type will lead more to the cancer, malignancy in the future? Is a malignancy in the future. So, more is what you call is, is your complete, okay? It's a 20%. And here, 10%. Okay? Is a 10%. And here it's a 20%. These are the important differences you should know for your USMLE or for any medical to for medical board examination. Okay, guys. So thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.